Ruckzuck. Simply powerful web design. Hi, this is Max from Ruckzuck and I want to show you how to use uh, typefaces from Adobe TypeKit in your Ruckzuck page. And as you know, we've got built-in support for uh, Google Fonts. Uh, you can just choose one from the drop-down or type the name up here, but uh, for TypeKit it's not that simple, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, there's a way to do it. We'll just have to pull a couple of tricks. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. I've got this um, demo page, just a um, couple of paragraphs, text and a headline, and I want to use a different typeface for the headline. So let's head over to TypeKit. I'm logged in. And I'm gonna search for the font that I'm gonna use. Bebus New. It's a really nice one. I really like it. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, right there it is. And normally, um, I now click Use Fonts and then add them to a kit, and that's just the way things work in TypeKit. But to speed things up, uh, I've already created a kit called Rexic Demo, which I'm gonna open right now. Uh, and as you can see, it's got Bebus new, it's got all the settings. Um, but there's a couple things we need to do before we can use this in our page. First thing is kit settings. Uh, and we need to make sure uh, in the domain field, uh, it's got the correct domain. In my case, for testing purposes, um, you should, add, uh, you should in, uh, use your space domain. So in my case, that's max-beta.directsec.io. Um, and that should work for testing. Obviously, once you publish your site, you need to update this to match the domain of your published site. Uh, so, max-beta should work. Uh, let's hit save. And let's go to embed code. Um, and this is uh, some JavaScript that TypeKit provides us. And uh, this will load the actual font files into our site. So I'm just gonna copy this Close this mm, and head over to Rector again. Um, and we're going to use the, and once again, we're going to use the HTML code module for this. Um, I'm going to drag it all the way to the top and just paste the code right in there. Uh, I'm going to hit save. Right, so uh, now if this works correctly, which it should, uh, the font files should now be loaded in the background, but we can't see them yet because um, we haven't assigned it uh, yet to anything. So let's do that. Uh, I'm actually gonna head back to TypeKit and check this real quick because I don't want to make a mistake here. So let's open up this kit again real quick and TypeKit will tell me what the correct name is for this typeface. So in this case, it's Beavis-new. Just gonna copy this, uh, head back into Rectic, and now paste this um, in the default font um, field. Not the uh, font name or web font style or Google font. It needs to be the default font field, which is a bit weird. That's just the way it is. Um, make sure to, uh, to include a comma there uh, so let's hit save, hit refresh properly. There it is. <laughs> There's Bebus new on our headline, just as expected. Um, right, and that's how you include um, TypeKit fonts to your website. Go have fun with it.